My journey to discover the treasures of Thailand begins in Bangkok and what better way to start than a visit to the Grand Palace. The palace is divided into three parts, the outer, middle and inner palace. The outer palace houses what is probably the most visited site within the complex, the Royal Temple or Wat Pra Kiao, home of the Emerald Buddha. This statue carved in precious jade, dates back to the 14th century and is said to be priceless. The robes on the Buddha are changed with the seasons by the king himself and is an important ritual in the Buddhist calendar. The temple also includes a library, a gallery of past Chakri kings and a model of the Angkor Wat. There's a mural in the Wat depicting the story of Ramayana consisting of 170 segments and if the segments were laid in a line it stretched for more than a mile this is the Wat Pra Chetupon built in the 16th century so it predates Bangkok even really old and it's huge famous for the temple of the reclining Buddha it's got 72 chedis surrounding the temple and it's also well known as the first open university under the king's patronage Wat Pra Chetupon, otherwise known as Wat Po, is the oldest temple in Bangkok. In fact, the temple is older than the city of Bangkok itself. It was founded in the 17th century and was known then as Wat Potaram, now shortened to Po. King Rama I, the founder of Bangkok, enlarged the temple and installed artifacts from the ancient capital Ayutthaya and renamed it Wat Pra Chetupon. His successor, King Rama III, turned the temple into a center of learning, making it, in essence, Thailand's first university. It was King Rama III who was also responsible for the construction of the temple's famous reclining Buddha. Wat Po contains more than a thousand images of Buddha, most of which came from the ancient capitals of Ayutthaya and Sukhothai. Dotted around the 20-acre grounds are 95 chedis of varying sizes. The largest, four, built in honor of four Chakri kings. Walking around the grounds of Wat Po, you'll come across chapels, rock gardens, statues, inscriptions, bell towers, and even resident fortune tellers. This is the main temple of Wat Po, housing the Pra Buddha Deva Patimakon, or the principal Buddha of Wat Po. And this is where they ordain monks and also give offerings to us for blessings and also favors from Lord Buddha. Inside this temple is a magnificent altar on which sits a large Buddha statue covered in gold and crystal. Now this may be stating the obvious, but no matter what your beliefs are, it's always polite to show respect when entering any temple. Most visitors though head for Wat Po's most famous Buddha statue, that of the reclining Buddha, the largest reclining Buddha statue in Thailand. This is literally the biggest attraction at Wat Po, the reclining Buddha. And from head to toe, it measures 46 meters, that's 150 feet. And uh, it's 15 feet high and it's all covered in gold leaf. And in case you're wondering how they got this huge figure in the temple, well, the king actually had the temple built halfway and then he commissioned the figure of the Buddha. And then when that's completed and in place, he then completed the temple. The entire statue is made of bricks covered with gold leaf, the feet and eyes inlaid with mother of pearl. Okay, this is the click clicking sound I heard earlier, people dropping coins in all these bowls and there are 108 bowls altogether, symbolizing the 108 auspicious signs of a true Buddha. And uh, what you do, you put one coin in each bowl and you wish for happiness. Of all the major temples in Bangkok, Wat Po is the most active. The temple is considered Thailand's first public university. Many of its monuments and artworks explain principles of religion, science and literature. And Wat Po is famous for another thing. 
The Thais are very clever, you know, having built this huge temple complex, they've added on another favourite pastime for locals and tourists alike, massage. And here at Wat Po, you can have a professional masseur soothe away your aching feet. Budding masseurs can attend courses in traditional Thai massage at Wat Po. This range from a week to a fortnight. A word of advice, Wat Po is a huge complex, so if you plan to come here, come early in the morning when it's cooler. Also wear loose, comfortable clothing and uh, make sure you've got comfortable shoes on. And uh, of course, don't forget your bottle of water. I'm so ready for lunch. <laughs>